How's it going everybody? Landon with Late Model Restoration. Welcome to my detailed breakdown and dyno runs covering TrickFlow's Twisted Wedge 11R cylinder heads. All right guys, these TrickFlow 11R heads are going to feature street ported runners, which makes these cylinder heads a great entry level CNC ported head. They are also going to feature aluminum construction, 716 stud mounts, and your choice of either a 53cc or 56cc combustion chamber. Larger intake and exhaust runners will allow more air in and more air out, resulting in significant power gains over factory cylinder heads. Of course, these heads are for off-road use only and will not pass emissions testing. Also, these heads are drilled for half-inch head bolts, so 7 16 bolts will require reducer bushings. Those are available at LMR.com as well. Okay, fellas, we recently put a set of these 11R heads with the 53cc combustion chamber onto our 1993 Road Race Fox body to see how well they would fare since this car already had some work done to it. Before the 11R head swap, this car did have an Edelbrock Performer RPM cam and Performer RPM cylinder heads. While those did exceptionally well for years, it was time to up the ante. After the swap, it does have the 11R heads with the 53cc combustion chamber, stage two trick flow cam, trick flow track heat intake manifold, all on top of a built 331 cubic inch engine. The only items that changed from the swap were the heads, camshaft, push rods, and roller rockers. Everything else stayed the same, which consisted of BBK shorty headers, dump flow masters, 30 pound injectors, a Pro-M mass airflow meter, Anderson power pipe, and a 70 millimeter BBK throttle body. Now with the smaller combustion chamber, compression is now roughly 11 to 1. This is a fuel injected car equipped with a T5 and 373 rear end gears. With that being said, let's check out the dyno run with the old setup. Okay, the car managed to make 317 horsepower and 349 pound-feet of torque, and that was with 110 leaded race fuel. After that run, we pulled it off the dyno, changed the heads, cam, push rods, and roller rockers, and strapped it back down. All right guys, our after pool with the 11R head in stage two cam, the car managed to put down an astonishing 363 horsepower and 376 pound-feet of torque. Those numbers are gonna be good for peak gains of 46 horsepower and 27 pound-feet of torque. More importantly, we saw curve gains of 54 horsepower and 48 pound-feet of torque. Those are some outstanding numbers for a cylinder head and cam change. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great products from TrickFlow. You can pick up a set of these 11R cylinder heads in either the 53cc or 56cc combustion chamber from LMR.com.